Hey guys, Mr. Pops it here. Don't forget to check out Mr. Pops it Fishing. It's my new channel and it kind of helps the whole brand grow and it actually helps this channel too. So if you like what you're seeing, hit like and subscribe on Mr. Pops it and Mr. Pops it Fishing. Thanks for popping by. Okay guys, this is a, a common thing that we see. This is an abscess, which is likely, it's just an inflamed cyst. You can see the pumpkin where the cyst was and it's common for them to blow out one way. And it looks like this one blew out to this side and we can actually see it's trying to come to the surface there. Pretty fluctuant and soft. What we're gonna do, you know, we can't do an excision of this cyst, but we're going to numb him up, do a little cut there, and we're gonna drain this pocket and then we're likely gonna get quite a bit of cyst particles here. So we're gonna get him prepped and ready, get him nice and numb, and then uh, we'll get this one taken care of. This is something we'll probably have to come back to because it's gonna be impossible to get the whole cyst because we can't numb this entire pocket because of that acid base shift we talk about, but this will give him quite a bit of relief. This is warm and it's likely tender, so we'll get that out for him today all right guys we have him numbed up and ready to go we have infused lidocaine all around here where we're going to cut and some into the bottom of the pocket you can see that punctum this was a good size cyst and commonly when we see with these um, like cystic abscesses they blow out one way and the wall probably thin there so we're going to get you know we're going to get the fluid and then the chunk <laughs> so we'll try to get as much as we can as long as he's not having all right guys it. mr pops it here a common occurrence these large abscesses, if it's not an abscess a day, I feel like we're missing out. <laughs> we get so many of these. This one's gonna have some fluid and some chunk. I'm gonna have our cup here. We're gonna cut right across. If you have any sting, you let me know. Okay, okay there? Uh -huh. Good, there's the pocket I just got into. Right there. You can feel it when you hit into that pocket. There we go. Whoop. floor cup didn't even get it <laughs> pain wise okay yeah, well, good well. you're doing great i may once i get to the bottom you may feel a little more you can see these pockets i'm gonna hit okay. and elva i could use the extractor to break up some of these loculations in there if you want to open that he is tough <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go slow here. I'm gonna go slow down to the bottom. Any pain there? Nope. Good. We're just gonna move around here and try to get our loculations, which are little pockets, pus. Oh, that's a deep pocket. I'm all the way down to that poor cyst down there. Feel that click at the pocket right there and the loculation. And there's another post pocket this way. Doing okay? Yeah. It can be like a live wire, so just let me know. I can put yeah. deeper in there. Right there. Yeah, okay, that is deep. We're almost three inches in there. Like Catholic. Yeah. So, once we break those up. I'm gonna hold Elva right here. Just hold the cup kind of down a little bit. Oh, sorry. You okay? Did they get you? Yeah. <laughs> Where did it get you? My hand and I think like, Oh, okay. Here. It actually went over that way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Boy, that was a good pocket right I'm there. I'm going home after this. <laughs> okay, stop it. Probably. I have no idea. <laughs> if, it, uh, if it goes blurry, just tap the middle. I think that's what was making it jump. And then we have to focus. Oh, really? Okay. So, Doing okay there pain-wise? Yep. Good. 
I am hitting pockets here. Okay. I can feel. Yeah, we're probably done, done with the cup, yeah. Just you put it on, you can put it on the tray. Yeah, sorry. We're gonna clean the floor too. Hope you're okay. So now we're gonna go around here. Cotton, which shouldn't be as painful. Feel not? Nope. Okay, good. Now we're gonna start getting some of these chunks out here. That's good. That cyst is right here. I can feel it right there. Okay, some cyst contents there. If we get too rough, it does start to get a little bloody. I think he's more tender way out this way. What I normally see with these is the cyst contents are just dried up over here and we're mostly fluid and inflammation over mm -hmm. here. There's another pocket right there. You can see all that coming out. And we got some cyst contents. Boy, he's got thick skin, he's tough. We really got a squeeze on there. <laughs> squeeze away because I yeah. don't feel anything. So good. Good. <laughs> good. All right. There's another pocket right there. Cis contents. Want more, more glass? Yeah. Oh, I need it. Thank you. really putting pressure on that shoulder mm -hmm. and finding that right pocket here. There we go, there's another one. Good. I know, we gotta get like a little umbrella. <laughs> Didn't hit the camera, it looks okay. That's good. Then we come back, so. Come down in here on this side. I feel a little bit. Feel a little bit? Okay. How about this way? Not bad? Nope. Oh, I'm good. That's where the cyst is. Where we'll probably get content. And can't reiterate. Well, it's getting windy out. Can't reiterate enough in these videos. A lot of people were like, why didn't he just open it all the way up? Because all we need is a little drainage. About one and a half centimeters. We don't want to put stitches in this or it fills up filling that. Nope. Fills up really quickly. We can't get the bottom of that pocket anesthetized. Acid base shift of inflammation doesn't allow the lidocaine to do its job as well. So that's why we don't go super rough on the deep part. Let's get it. Yeah, it's starting to kind of. I'm going to flush here in a sec. I have a feeling there's a lot of cis contents, but it's pretty adherent and we're probably not gonna get to it. Here you go. I'm gonna open just a smidge more here. He's nice and numb on the surface. You can see that thick skin. <laughs> <laughs> That's guy skin there. And I have seen sometimes on these where you get this big, huge pocket and it's mostly fluid and just kind of pus and there isn't much cyst in there. It's just a big reaction to that inflamed cyst. Four cents here. Let's see if we can get some cyst lining out here. Something there. What 
I don't like to go too deep with the metal and start tearing tissue. That's where he can be in a lot of pain. I'd much rather relieve his pressure so he can sleep better tonight, put him on an antibiotic, put some packing in there, let everything dry up, and then remove that cyst in one piece two months down the road. That's pretty good. That's where he's tender up here, talking to us. <laughs> so now we'll do a little bit of flushing here. Yeah, that's a kind of, you can almost see it's like gelatinous. It's almost like jelly in there. That's why it's so hard. Forceps aren't really gonna get it well. just falls apart. I say it commonly, it's like eating soup with a fork. It just, it's, you can't really grab on anything. It's all mush. Let's do some flushing. Good. We're getting a little bit out there, that mush. And that is like liquefied cyst wall here, you can see. Just particleizes in a little bit. You can hear I'm just tearing it, it's very fibrous. Okay, I might have you hold the cup just under for a little flush. We probably likely will do packing as well. I'm gonna go this way. Real slow. You okay? Mm -hmm. This is just cotton, but I know it's like a live wire down there sometimes. How about there? I'm good. Good. I always ask because it can be like a shock <laughs> sometimes. But I don't want to cause <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, I'll be the first to know. Right, there we go. I'm just kind of getting in there with cotton. See if we can pull any contents out of there. You can see that goes to here. I can lift up way back there. Okay, and we'll get the cup under there. Just right under. I'm gonna put this, it won't shoot out. One more, and then we push it all out. Fluid. Not much, right? <laughs> She's not looking. <laughs> yeah, it's not much. It just dribbled out a little. A lot of it came out right into the gauze I had there. That's a good view right here, that inflammation of what the whole thing looks like in there, that mush that we see. The impregnated gauze I'm going to put in is going to help that dry up. So you see, I could sit here for two hours and get little bits of sack and never get it all. You'll see in the comment section, he didn't get the sack, it's going to come back. We expect that. We try to get as much as we can at the surface here, but you can see there. They're always just a mushy mess. Let's get one more gauze, Ella. Thank you. Take that. Gracias. That guy right there. do have a curette on hand however you can see this will start bleeding just roughing up a little bit by the surface here and he's so t tender down deep that that's not going to be even an option people use curettes for dry cysts and they're pretty effective 
at breaking up the wall. But for this, it's not going to do anything for us. All right, one last push here. We're going to put some iodoform in there. Put a big pressure bandage. And we're here Friday, which is good. Two days, we'll just have that on there. And have you come back. We have the, the long forceps, right? Yeah. Actually, these ones don't have teeth. I can use these. Just need you to cut it. And this is just an impregnated gauze that helps kill bacteria and absorb some of the leaking. I have a feeling you might need a little more. No pain? Nope. Okay. Big pocket in there. Some people will do it every two days for a week or two. I found just initial two days, and as long as he's on an oral antibiotic, it actually dries the pocket up and kind of starts that healing process a little bit. It's a deep pocket you can see there. Quite a cyst. You have a history of pretty large cysts. This one didn't let, let us down. <laughs> it just uh, yelled at us to get it out. That's for sure. I am going to put a little bit more elbow. I'm going to cut again. Do more off of the side here. Because this goes all the way out here. This will be like a double barrel packing. Nice. Starting to get full. Pressure. You did great. Thanks for sharing too. This is these are interesting. You know, people go in the ER and urgent cares with this, and people are like, "What do I do with this?" You know, and I have had some where you just grab that sack and the whole sack pops out, and I've had ones like this where it's just obliterated for the most part, but pretty adherent. It's probably down deep there, and we're not digging for that today and putting him through torture. Feeling that a little? No. Okay, good, good. Um, and this is going to help this dry up. Very, very good. There we go. Probably could have put a little more in, but I think that's enough. I'm going to change my gloves real quick. Yeah, no worries. So that's great. I usually go one to two centimeters. That's almost two, just under. Um, that's going to heal together, and as it does, you know, you can see his punctum there. That's a little open pore that most likely started the cyst. But we got a lot of pus out. We got chunks out, um, and now we put this in. We flushed and, and broke up quite a few loculations, but over here where he was pretty sensitive, I didn't get too rough. We'll pull these out in 48 hours, and then we'll likely see him again just a week after that. And with the right antibiotics, this should just retract and dry up. And then, in, you know, next couple months, it'll start to form again usually. Sometimes a year or two, but usually within three to six months. We'll feel where the cyst forms, and then we can do a little excision, cut that pore out, probably remove his scar from this as well, make a nice closure, and then that'll be the end of that story. But these are not a quick fix. So, you know, it's a lot of inflammation there, so it's good to get that for him. All right. Thanks for popping by. Very, very common presentation we have, and we'll see how he does and follow up um, and keep you posted. <laughs> All right, guys, Mr. Pops it here. This is our 48-hour follow-up on the shoulder boulder abscess. <laughs> it was the big one. We'll come in here. This one is likely pretty tender. We were mashing on it pretty good. And you can see he's got a little leakage. So these, we had a good cut on that. It's going to drain. That's what we want. And we changed this out a couple times. So we're going to pull this off. I'm going to put a little pad on for him so we don't get it all over his clothing or anything like that. is it sticks to this so I want to pull this off so I don't pull it out when I take this off there we go you can just cut it with the scissors 
That's good. Actually, not as much as I thought we were going to have, but it's going to come out when we put this on. You can already see some leak in there. This up here. I'm going to wipe there, just dab a little on the bottom. This will be our little catch base in there, which will be good. Okay. Just like that. So a little tug in. I'm going to go slow. We got two in here. When it pulls off the bottom, you're going to feel it a little bit. Okay. Oh, great. Yeah, he's getting some drainage there, which we want. was the bigger one. Went way back in the pocket there. A little bit here towards the end. You doing okay? Yep. That's the dry. That's so good. Good. Sensitive area down at the bottom. That has a lot of packing. It was a big pocket. Good. So we can see with my light in there, he's already got good granulation. It's already starting to close. It's probably 30% closed there. And you know, if we push a little, there's not a lot of fluid in there. And that's what that packing does. The fluid is kind of wrapped around there and there was some leaking out, but now it should start to dry up. And you can see the redness in 48 hours is already going down. Shouldn't be too tender there. Does that hurt a little? Not bad, huh? No. Yes, that's a big empty pocket in there. And he did have, there's a little punctum here, but the big punctum most likely of the cyst, there's a little blackhead there you can see. That's connected down to where that cyst was. When this all dries up, we're probably gonna come back and do a little wedge cut here, remove that and fix that scar because it'll be a little wide and close it up and if the cyst does regrow. But that's what we expect. We're gonna put a pressure bandage on for another, um, just for another day or so. He can take it off on um, Saturday or Sunday, depending on if it's leaking that bad or not. And then we'll see him back in one week and just kind of keep a close eye on it so it doesn't refill. This should take three to five days to fill in and it's just gonna close up just like that. And then in that time, that leaking should get less and less each day. By the time it closes up, it should be done. And the antibiotic helps, so it helps it along too. So thanks for popping by. Thanks to him for sharing. That was a pretty amazing abscess. It was a big one, blown out cyst. And this is kind of what we do each time. And it should uh, heal really well. So that's it. Okay, guys, Mr. Pops it here. We have, this was our big, the, the abscess on the shoulder. I think we call it the shoulder boulder abscess. <laughs> you can still see his open pore here. Most likely that cyst blew out this way. Um, but a little bit of PIH, which is that light brown, but nice and soft. Nothing's leaking anymore. We're going to see if this cyst tries to reform. I don't feel anything there now. It's literally just a dilated pore of whiner and a little blackhead. Not going to mess with it just yet, but we'll let this heal a little more. Where we cut them has come together nice, and that healing shows us that it's healing. So we'll keep an eye on this. That pigment will fade over the next couple months. It's very soft. So we got, it looks like we got um, a lot of stuff out of there. Um, but, you know, commonly these do reform eventually, whether it's three to six months or three to six years, you never know until you just kind of wait and see if it starts to reform. We start feeling a little ball there, then we can do a focused excision like we did on his back one. So we'll keep an eye on this. Thanks to him for sharing. And that's pretty much, he's past the worst part. That should just keep healing and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, this is the follow-up for that shoulder boulder abscess, that giant, it was about out to here. And you can see he healed really well, just a little pink scar. That was that pore. When you push in there, you don't feel anything. So we scraped a lot of that out. Hopefully that cyst never returns, but if it does, we'll just do a little excision, but that's gonna take quite some time. You don't feel anything firm in there at all. It looks really good.